What is a manometer? A manometer is a device that can measure pressure. Manometers are often used to measure the pressure of a contained gas, but also in beer brewing. The manometer can read if there should be an overpressure to secure a trouble-free operation of a brewery. A manometer is also used for a lot more than brewery. How is pressure measured? A manometer is a device that measures air pressure. This is done using a container with a U-shaped tube that can either be open in both ends or simply just in one of the ends. First up, a test is introduced in the one end of the closed thermometer, which is then chapped. Then a fluid is poured in the other end. It's very important to know what density the fluid has. The liquid will stop moving when the gas that is trapped between the cap and the liquid matches the pressure on the same side in the bottom of the fluid column, the air pressure, and the pressure from the fluid column on the other side. The height of the liquid will be higher on one of the sides when the air pressure is less than the gas pressure. Thereby, it will be lower on the open side when the air pressure exceeds the gas pressure. Manometer in beer brewing. The purpose of a manometer is, in this case, for a mash tun application. To keep an eye on and control the differential pressure, or the suction, both within and across the grain bed. The manometer can give you a visual rendering of the speed you pull the wart through the grain bed. This is done with help from the difference in the levels between the two pipes. The more number of brews you complete, the more sense it makes to you how to install the pump speed and that the performance of the laudering should be based on the manometer's reading. What is mash tun? While brewing beer, this process is usually done in a vessel called a mash tun. This mash tun is similar to brew kettles. The difference here is that mash tun is highly isolated to be able to maintain the constant pressure. To ensure the most trouble-free brewing, the manometer is used in several steps during the process. Air pressures in pneumatic valve systems. CO2 pressure in fermentation tanks. Differential pressure under lottery. Beer pressure in dispensing systems. Absolute and differential pressure at the bottling line. Steam pressure. Glycol pressure. Water pressure. Also indirectly, they can determine volumes with help from pressure transducers. It's important to use a manometer of high quality and this will result in avoiding potential dangerous overpressure or inaccurate CO2 levels in the finished beer. Conclusion Although it can sound complicated at first, using a manometer is highly recommended if you want to master the art of beer brewing. You can also check out our website to get extra information about manometers, and you will become an expert in no time. Good luck!